We have sound speed. Sound rolling. Ready, Kirk? Okay. Roll picture. The Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History has over 144 million objects, like this narwhal tusk. My name is Kirk Johnson. I'm in charge of all of them. 99% of the collections are behind the scenes, and these are the people that work with them. This is Carla Dove from the Division of Birds. Here in the Division of Birds, we have somewhere around 620,000 museum specimens. And that represents about 85% of the diversity of birds in the world. You look at these specimens and you realize that this is where the science is really going to start. We're using our collections to identify birds that collide with airplanes and help us improve aviation safety. Dr. Bob Robbins, curator of butterflies and moths. I have been professionally employed as a lepidopterist who works on butterflies for about 35 years. This is the essence of my being, is to know everything about butterflies. There's a whole world out there that, unless you look very closely, you don't see. And it's an interesting world, it's a fascinating world, and it is full of practical value for human beings. This is Ellen Strong, curator of mollusks. What I love about this collection is its breadth. We estimate that we may have as many as 20 million specimens. We are preserving a record of past life on this planet, of present life on this planet, and preserving that for the future. I take that responsibility very seriously in, in providing access and caring for the specimens for posterity. Dr. Jeff Post, curator of the National Gem and Mineral Collection. Minerals in this collection go from something that formed maybe in the last few tens of years to others that formed more than three billion years ago. We know right now there are more than 5,000 minerals that make up the Earth. And in our collection, we probably have more than half of those. Each one's a little piece of the puzzle. And you try to put all these things together and hopefully eventually understand the big picture of how the Earth works. And Floyd Shockley, collection manager for entomology. We have just a little over 35 million specimens in the collection. A third of all insect life on Earth is represented by at least one specimen in our collection. When you look at a collection the size of ours, you're starting to get to a point where you can ask really big questions. The questions related to global climate change, habitat destruction, and you can only answer those big questions if you have a lot of specimens collected over a long period of time from a lot of different species. To understand the Earth and the living things on the Earth, you need to collect those things and preserve them and study them. And that helps you when you need food or when you have a disease. All that stuff arcs back to the fact that we have samples of the whole planet here, and that's how we understand the planet. <laughs>